We use the sizing probe after calculating the size field, but prior to wrapping, to investigate whether the sizing chosen was appropriate. We see here that it is capturing the curvature and trailing edge geometry very well. So we proceed to wrap. Zooming on the wrap geometry, we see a very nice advancing front type surface mesh which is well connected on the wrapped mesh object. We do however see some over refinement in areas where the curvature from the CAD was problematic. This is an indication of poor CAD surfacing. We use a text command to clear the curvature information which was imported with the CAD because it contains some problems. After clearing, subsequent remeshing will recalculate the curvature based upon our smoothed wrapped faceting. We can then remesh to improve our surface representation. Before remeshing, we need to rescope the sizing definitions to be calculated on our wrapped mesh object rather than our original geometry object. We rescope that in the scoped sizing panel and also we add our body of influence sizing definitions now. The cylindrical body of influence limits cells within it to 50 millimeters. The larger body of influence limits cells within it to 250 millimeters. We now recompute the size field from our new sizing definition and right click on the mesh object in the tree and choose to remesh it. After remeshing we see that the quality of the surface mesh is very good and that the body of influence refinement regions are now reflected on the surfaces they touch, such as the symmetry plane. The mesh object summary shows that the quality is good with skewness about 0.7 and that there are no other issues such as free faces, i.e. the mesh is watertight. A surface mesh count of around 800,000 triangles seems intuitively reasonable as well. We move on to compute the single volumetric region from our fluid material point. Then we open up the auto mesh panel to fill this fluid region with volumetric elements. Scoped prisms are set up using the last ratio based method. The parameters are chosen to give 40 layers with a first height of 5 microns to fix the Y plus and a last layer ratio of 40% to give good cell centroid transition distance between the last prism and the first TET element. The prisms are scoped to face zone labels using as handles the wildcard strings nacelle star, plane star and wing star. The TET mesher is set to take its sizing information from the size field so that the mesh will respect our bodies of influence and growth rates. The volume mesh is created and first we hide the prism cap which we can see when we draw our cell zones from the tree. We display a cutting plane in Z and show the volumetric elements and then add the surface mesh of the whole plane to give a nice view of the final mesh which was created. In release 17, tetrahedrons are driven by size functions or size fields. As a beta feature in 17, the octree based hex core algorithm will also use size fields. And finally, the polyhedral meshing algorithm is also driven by size fields.